is the Deep Sky Dad flat panel version two, and it's really been a lifesaver when it comes to taking my flat frames for astrophotography. If you've ever taken flat frames before, you know how much of a pain they are. I've had a t-shirt taped across my telescope for sky flats. I've used an iPad screen. I've used a sketch pad with paper under it, and they've all worked fine, but they're just a big pain. So this device right here completely automates the process of taking my flat frames and it's really made it the easiest thing in my astrophotography workflow. So in this video, I'll be showing you what this device does, why you should buy it, what makes this so special and how to set it up. What this flat panel does is it remotely connects to your control center for your astrophotography. So ASI Air works with this guy. I'll get more into that later in the video or your laptop, whatever you're using to control everything. And it'll pretty much just open like this and close automatically with the tap of a button. The light will turn on, change brightness. Before I go over how this flat panel works, I'll go over all the features it has, some things you might need to consider before buying this, and the overall pricing of the product. So I just went to the Deep Sky Dad website, and if you scroll down, you can select the size of your flat panel for flat panel version 2. I have the 100 millimeters, so we'll click on that. You can see it makes flat panels for a variety of telescopes, but the price is 309 euros, which is roughly $350. So if you scroll down, I have the William Optics FLT91. So the base price is 309 euros, but there's a couple of additions you might want to consider. The first one is this built-in dew heater. So if you leave your flat panel out all night, it's gonna get dew on it. So you need a dew heater. I would highly recommend getting that. That's 50 euros. And then if you're gonna be using this with your ASI Air, you're gonna need this additional cable right there. It's another 50 euros. If we scroll down on the page more, we can see all the features it has. So it has three power ports. One's for the ASI Air Connect cable, one's for power, and then one is for if you're using a computer. This flat panel uses magnets to stay open and closed, which is very good. The magnets are very strong. And if you come over here, you can see this little knob. It just tightens the ring so it fits on your telescope. So none of those annoying zip ties to attach it to your telescope. It's very easy. I'll show you later in the video. And then this big circle is obviously where the flat panel is and then the dew heater if you choose to get that. And then the middle of the screen is all the features that it has if you want to pause it and look over those. Now that that's all out of the way, I'll demonstrate how this works with my ASI Air. It works just fine with a laptop too. Only thing you need is an ASCOM driver, but I'll show you how to do it with this ASI Air cable. To hook this up to our ASI Air, all you have to do is just plug this additional ASI Air cable off their website into this hole right here. And then with the other end of the wire, we can just go ahead and plug that into one of the 12 volt DC power ports on our ASI Air. The only other wire you'll need is this standard power cable. For this cable, you just plug it right into the power port on your flat panel, and then plug the other end of this wire into one of your 12 volt DC power ports on your ASI Air, and you're good to go. I have my ASI Air hooked up to my iPad now, and you can see the lights on on the flat panel. And just to show you how easy it is, I'll just press this button right here, and the flat panel will open just automatically. So what it looks like open and then to close it you just do the same thing press the same button and the flat panel will close automatically you can also change the brightness of the flat panel with this slider in the app so you can go a little dimmer and bring it back up and it's really easy to change the brightness as well i'll just show you really quick what i had to do to make this flat panel work with the asi air so if you go up to the top bar and you click on the wi-fi icon It'll open this page up. What I did here was I made the power cable that's plugged into the ASI Air and the flat panel. That cable is plugged into port four. So in this section here for port four, I have that selected as on to turn my flat panel on. But to actually use the flat panel, I had to plug in that ASI Air wire, the additional one. I plugged that into port three for my ASI Air. Then I opened it up and I selected flat panel for port three right here. Once you have those two ports set up, you should be good to go. So to open the flat panel, you have to have your power port on and you have to click this slider next to flat panel in port three and your flat panel will open. And then to close the flat panel and turn on the light, you're just gonna turn that slider back on and your panel will close. 
just like this. As you can see, the light is turned on now, and then you just use the slider to change your brightness, just like that. And that's pretty much how this works. It's super easy, super simple. So I'll go ahead and show you how to install it on your telescope and give you my final thoughts on it. Installing the flat panel on the telescope is super easy. All you have to do is just put it against your dew shield and tighten this knob right here. Once it's on there tight, you're done installing it. As far as my experience with this flat panel, I think it's just amazing. The build quality is really solid. It works every time. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And I haven't had any problems with it. So I would highly recommend this. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If this video was helpful to you in any way, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. But if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching.